So the coronavirus has really hit the nation's meat industry particularly hard, shutting down plants in the Midwest. The seafood business has not been hit as hard yet. And as WBZ's Bill Shields tells us, suppliers are ready to pick up the pace, but they need the government's help first. For decades, the seafood industry in New England has been on its heels. But COVID-19 has also started to impact the meat industry, possibly creating some shortages. So does that translate to more demand locally for seafood? If meat plants uh, have been impacted, maybe we should stimulate the fishing industry to get more of this product out of the water. Roger Berkowitz owns Legal Seafoods, a chain of high-end restaurants and fish markets on the East Coast. He says because of federal regulations restricting catch amounts, the fish are there, but retail markets are shut down. 95% of the Pollock quota uh, also had it, has not been taken. So in terms of regulation, we can utilize this. But fishermen, both of ground fish and lobster, are very worried about their markets this summer. Andrea Tomlinson runs New Hampshire Community Seafood, a cooperative of fishermen and lobstermen. She doesn't think any shortage of meat will help the fishermen at this point. We're looking down the pike at a real issue with demand, local demand. So I think it's an opportune time for Americans to really make some more conscious decisions on what they do eat for seafood and really investigating where the origin of their seafood is coming from. If there's anything we're learning about COVID-19, it's that there's no aspect of our economy or our society that it hasn't affected. I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News.